What's going on guys? Again, a wee bit of a later start to the video today than I would have liked. However, this morning's been a very busy morning. Since it's Monday, I had all my weekly check-ins and they took me a wee bit longer than expected. And I also had a few clients um, that were new and starting with me this week. So I was just making sure this morning that they knew exactly what the game plan was and what they were going to be doing and if they had any queries or questions. So it took a, it took a wee bit longer than I would have hoped. However, it doesn't matter. It was awesome. It was great starting with some new people and getting on my weekly check-ins and just making sure my clients are doing well and whatnot. Today... We are going to be up in the squat, the squat and bench form. So today's going to be a bit of a heavier day. We have a harder day, so we'll be training that in a few in a few hours. So currently, I have just got a. Oh, that's going to steam up the thing. Two seconds. Yep. So I've got a burger and my sweet potato fries in there. That should be ready in about hopefully. 20, 20, 20 minutes, twenty five minutes. Woke up this morning at one o five point five. So that should mean roughly I've only got about maybe between 10 to kind of 16 days worth more of dieting. And then the dieting is done and I get to go back um, um, into maintenance and a slight surplus. Really that I kind of, ideally in about 12 days, I'll be sitting about 104.8. Which then means I'll probably put myself back up into a slight maintenance calories which will probably put me back up to about 105, 105.1. And then from there I will go into a very slight surplus which come kind of mid-April I'll be sitting about 106 maybe very high 105s low 106s and then I'll do a, a slight water manipulation tool which will cut away a kilo of body weight which is going to be extremely easy to do this one was just sick all over the couch so hopefully she's not coming down with something hopefully she just I don't know, hopefully she's not ill, but she was just sick all over the couch. So I had the pleasure of cleaning it up. On training days, I've got an extra 75 grams of carbs to add in, and I'd already planned out all of today's meals, and I forgot about the 75 grams of carbs up until about an hour ago. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to have some Haribos. So I've got 75 grams worth of carbs of Haribos in here. Alright, so this is week 2, day 1, you're currently watching right now, and the volume was increased from last week, and it was pretty good, so quick rundown, because not all kind of sets and reps are going to be shown. I also do 2 sets of 2 with 221 kilograms, I will then move on to 3 sets of 3 with 208 kilos, where you're only going to see 1 set, then I also move on to 195 kilos for an AMRAP, which was obviously going to be pretty damn difficult after doing two sets with 221 and then three sets with 208 and then after that I was to move on to three sets of three of pause squats with 170 kilograms so that and then that was just a squatting so from there I was then move on to two sets of two on 132.5 kilos in bench press and then to move on to three sets of three with 125 and then, was, and then after that was just some overhead press assistance and some core assistance as well so overall was a really really enjoyable day one thing i'm still trying to do is try and remain fairly calm throughout these sessions especially on my first five sets with my 195 allowing myself to be a little bit more pumped up as you may or may not know if you're if you're new to the channel when i get very hyped up and smell smelling sauce and hit my head off the bar and do certain things like that i usually I'm about 10% stronger, literally I know that's a huge amount, but I tend to perform about 10% better when extremely hyped up, so I like to really do a lot of my kind of volume work as calm as possible because I know that when by doing that and if I really ma manage to kind of get to weights where I was having to kind of hype up before in the last cycle where I'm able to do them calm, I know that when I then start to hype up, my performance overall is going to be a hell of a lot better. Come on! 
I stop this? My previous best rep PR with 195 kilos is nine reps, I believe. I think that that, I believe that I'd done nine reps before as my previous um, best rep PR I've done with 195. And that was done completely fresh. I'd done no prior sets before that. And that was done with a lot of hype. So to do this with probably 50% less hype and doing it after five sets of squatting, so two sets of two with 221 and three sets, and then three sets of three with 208 was brilliant. I'm very, very happy to do that. I think that ties or is one rep below my all time PR, but to do that after that amount of sets beforehand is extremely good. And I reckon if I'd done 195 fresh, I reckon I probably would be aiming for minimum 12 reps, maybe even kind of hitting the 13 rep range. But again, it's not something that's put in the program, so not overly concerned with that. And then again, I was to move on to bench press. I've been playing around recently with my bench about having my feet closer towards my bum and then also further away, just trying to kind of see what the kind of, where I feel I can get the best leg drive from. One thing that I am very good at is leg drive. I do implement leg drive extremely well and I do get a lot of performance from my leg drive. It's something I've worked on for a long, long time and it's really starting to shape up. So again, here you can see I've got my feet out a little bit wider and really focusing, just pushing my knees out the way and really, really, really squeezing my glutes at the bottom of the movement. Um, and I, at the moment, I feel that's the kind of most optimal position for me to perform my m leg drive in the most optimal way, which will give me the most performance possible from the hip drive. Has there ever been any like cross -road? That's my application just sent into the Caledonian Championships on the 19th of April. They are capping it at 40. Um, and it was running out fast and I literally just applied. Uh, I didn't actually realise it was capped to 40. One of my clients sent me a message, let me know. So that was awesome of him, that was great. Hopefully I got in, I won't find out till tomorrow, so you'll find out in the next episode if I got in or not, but I really hope I did, because that is what I'm working towards. I'm sure it'll be fine, but just very anxious to kind of get that email to let me know I'm in, so that all becomes real and I just, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it and really hope that I didn't apply just that wee bit too late. Would you ever forget anything you know? Take a chance to step outside